And we shouldn't be here today in 2015 having this debate whether anything more should be done because the answer, of course, is very clear. Yes, of course. And the Equal Pay Act was passed 10 years before I was born and yet we are still here today arguing for parity between the sexes. And that Act put into law the basic principle that we should all receive the same treatment on pay and employment conditions. And as my honourable friend for Ashfield mentioned earlier, it allows women to take their employer to a tribunal if a man doing similar work to her is being paid more. Although now that is only possible if you can afford it thanks to the barriers accessing justice the previous coalition saw fit to bring in. And I remind uh, everybody of the statistics that the number of equal pay claims has fallen by 68%, but the number of claims going to tribunal has fallen by 79%. And I'm incredibly proud that the last Labour government made equal pay a priority and closed the pay gap by one third during its time in office. But I say again, over the last five years, we have seen almost no progress on this issue. And in the manifesto, the Conservatives made no mention of putting in place any measures to try to tackle the pay gap that exists, that on the opposite side of the benches they have accepted does indeed exist. In my constituency of Grimsby, um, women earn just 77 pence for every pound brought in by men. I've heard a figure today in Coventry that that figure is as low as 60 pence compared to every pound taken home by men. And that is a significant difference. And if we don't think that that affects the home lives um, of the children in our country, then we are deluding ourselves. There has been a, a surge of low pay and insecure work in this country over the last few years. And that has particularly been the case in my constituency. I recently met with a local charity in my constituency called uh, Care, who provide emergency food aid in Grimsby. And they told me that there's been a 27% increase in the number of meals they've provided to children in this year alone. Unfair wages for women is a problem of basic fairness. But the fact that working women are being pushed into poverty and insecurity to the extent that they can no longer afford to feed their children is a crisis which surely demands urgent action. Hear, hear.